Dorian Yates versus Muhammad bin Aziza, who was nicknamed the Giant Skiller by Joe Weider, because he defeated Dorian at the 1990 Night of Champions. In fact, Dorian was only defeated twice in his professional career. The first came at the 1990 Night of Champions by the Algerian Momo bin Aziza, and the second was at the 1991 Mr. Olympia, when he finished second to Lee Haney. Ben Aziza was found dead in his hotel room on October 4, 1992. He was 33 years old. It is believed that the cause of his death was that he took an injection to accelerate the process of his preparation shortly before a competition which took place in the Netherlands. The front double biceps shows that Momo had massive and ripped biceps. Dorian was not known for having impressive biceps as much as he was known for having powerful triceps. Dorian had the wider chest and lats, but Momo's conditioning in these shots was incredible. He always maintained ripped abs and small waist, and was known for having ripped and separated quads with visible veins. Momo did not have an amazing muscular area in specific, but his physique was complete overall. Dorian was known for hitting one of the most impressive front lat spread of all time, if not the most impressive ever, making use of his wide and dense lats. Although not as wide as Dorian, Momo used to hit an impressive pose showing great conditioning with his ripped chest, shoulders, arms and quads, along with cut abs and tight midsection. I've always liked Dorian's side chest and always thought that he hit the pose perfectly. Maybe he never had the best chest out there, but the way he used to hit the pose showed the best of his dense and striated chest. Momo also hit an impressive pose showing striations in his chest, shoulders, thighs and glutes. The back poses show that they both had incredible back areas. It goes without saying that Dorian had among the best back areas ever, if not the best of all time. He was known for having this granite look back which was nearly flawless, with his massive traps and lats and striated lower back. Although smaller, Momo had a powerful back as well. His rear delts perfectly connected with his traps and lats, with visible striations in his lower lats. Dorian, however, had the better ripped hamstrings and glutes. No rear lat spread pictures for Momo. The side triceps, however, shows that they both had powerful triceps but with different shapes. I think that Dorian had the better horseshoe triceps, which were incredibly ripped and striated. Notice how dense Dorian's chest is in comparison with Momo's. The abs and thighs shows that they both had ripped midsection and cut abs in their prime. They were not known for having the best abs out there, but they managed to present highly conditioned midsections. Notice Momo's phenomenal quads which were insanely ripped and separated with visible striations. This pose, however, shows that Momo's arguably least impressive area was the chest. And we will see that clearly in the most muscular. Although Dorian did not hit the best most muscular out there, and his pose cannot be compared to the likes of Rani or Phil Heath, yet the pose shows the granite look Dorian had in his prime from the front and the back equally, with visible striations pretty much everywhere. Momo on the other hand hits an impressive pose which reflects the phenomenal conditioning he had in his prime with visible striations. But as you can see, his chest lacked the size and the density to match the powerhouses back then. It's worth mentioning that the Universal Supplements red logo which shows a bodybuilder silhouette is actually that of Momo bin Aziza hitting his iconic front double biceps pose. And I think it's taken from this picture in specific. Of course, there is nothing to prove that, but I'm sure that it belongs to Muhammad bin Aziza. So that was a tribute for both Dorian and Momo, more than a matchup to see who would win this pose or that. Hope you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe, share and like. Thanks for watching and have a nice one.